Hi, I'm Jason Sterling and this is the Island Living 2 Minute Review. To start, the features contained within the pack do check a lot of fan request boxes. A small town tropical island setting, open water swimming with snorkeling, a sort of scuba diving, and a variety of sea life including interactive dolphins. There's a mermaid life state, a transportation option, and at long last, lounge chairs. There's a new conservationist career that affects dynamic change in the island, altering the landscape and bringing back wildlife. We have a new fishing boat, traps, and casting skill, and it's part of the new part-time job selections along with odd job selections in the game. Three new lot traits, Volcano, Island Spirits, and Off the Grid, various interactive features like festivals and a waterfall for off the grid bathing and woohooing, the new ability to build over the water on stilted foundations complementing a versatile build by cast selection including a buildable shipwreck set piece. The bad news, this pack feels a little light for an expansion. You're going to wish several features had been developed further or like scuba diving developed at all. Both snorkeling and diving are above water view only. There's a few glitches including a glaring one that should have been caught and fixed easily with proper gameplay testing. The conservationist career when working active looks a lot less like this and a lot more like this. Mermaids start complete with no expansion potential nor do they have any sort of accessible home making them seem a little lost. And a big one for me, aqua boats and zips are singles only. No family option, kids and toddlers cannot sail nor can toddlers use the floats or even worse, the new lounge deck chairs. That said, if you've really been wanting an island town where your mermaid spouse can frolic in the open water after fishing all day, while you are busy cleaning up the environment and luring butterflies and baby turtles back to what is a stunningly gorgeous place to live. If you're like me and enjoy building, telling stories, and gameplay using the pack to its fullest, then most likely you'll quite enjoy the pack and find the price to be okay. It's not the greatest pack value ever created, and if that bothers you, then wait for a 40 or 50% off sale, because then it'll be a steal. There is a lot more here than a game pack, and you'll want it for the world alone. I hope this information has helped. I hope I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.